Hashem gave the Torah in Har Sinai, it says there was the blasting of the shofar and there was thunder and lightning. A person would say this sounds like a Steve Spielberg production, special effects. You know, Hashem needed this stuff. Why would Hashem need all of this stuff? And one of the explanations that's given is that in terms of our relationship with Hashem and in terms of any significant relationship, there's two steps. There's Yira and there's Ahava. Yira means respect and fear, and Ahava means love. And the Pesach says, Reishis Chochmo Yira Sashem, that before, before a person can acquire Chochma, the beginning of Chochma, step one in Chochma, is respect, Yira. And Hashem wanted to make this perfectly clear to us, that even though, even though Klal Yisrael said, Nasev Anishma, we said, Hashem, we love you. Hashem said, that's great. That's how you feel today. But we know that just like a person falls in love, they can fall out of love. And if a relationship is dependent only, if that's all that's holding it together is Ava, and there's no mutual respect, there's no foundation of Yira, it can't necessarily have long-lasting effects. So this is one of the reasons why Matan Torah was given Bekoiloi Subrokim with thunder and lightning that Hashem wanted to impose this fear. He wanted us to know that this is an important element of Yiddishkeit. Boundaries, respect, there is a concept of reward and punishment, and therefore a person knowing that, that'll be one of the factors that'll help solidify, make this relationship a permanent one. All these Sifri Hasidus emphasize that on a Yontif, we're not just remembering something that took place in the past, but every time that a holiday rolls around, all the miracles and all the spiritual light that came down when that Yontif first took place is reenacted again, which means that Hashem is going to give the Torah anew this year on Shavuos by preparing for it person preparing themselves, the counting of the Oymer, the going to the mikveh before Yom Tif, the wearing special clothes, the eating special foods, all of these things that we do to show the respect for this day, to be able to receive the, the full benefits of this Yom Tif.